Welcome to day 10 of the 21-day healing meditation series. And we're pretty much almost at that halfway mark. I know many of you are experiencing some big shifts and lots of emotions rising and lots of completion of past trauma and relationships. All those kinds of things are coming up for healing. And, and really, that's what we've been calling forward. So it's, it's normal I would love for you to just really make peace with everything that's coming up as much as you can and really create space for the further expression as it rises and continues to come up and out of out of our physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, or energy bodies. And bringing your awareness to your breath, you're going to rest your eyes closed and observing the breath again without any judgment, without changing it. And I'm just going to stay quiet as you do that. Just notice each inhale, each exhale. See if you can begin to invite the breath to deepen a little bit without forcing. It's more of an allowing and an inviting the breath to deepen and soften. Take a deep breath in through the nose, and as you exhale, let the breath fall out of your mouth. We're going to do three of these falling out breaths. And on the exhale, you might find a bit of a sigh or an ah sound coming through your breath out. We're going to bring bring our awareness today to the energy body. I'm just going to take a moment to kind of tune into everybody's energy body. And as you bring your awareness there, even if you don't understand what that means or where that is, just set the intention to be aware of the energy body. And if there's anything that comes up, be curious. There may be some colors or images memories, feelings that show up. Okay, so I'm immediately drawn to the pelvic area, the first and second chakra. So the first chakra is your ta- right by your tailbone. The second chakra is your lower belly and lower back. So that kind of sacrum and the lower belly. So as you bring your awareness there, just be curious. Notice what's happening. We begin by observing and gathering information. If there's anything you need to know, anything you need to see or experience. There's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of um, guarded energy. So keep in mind, I'm picking up on the group as a whole, whether you're on the call or listening later, I'm I'm tuning into everybody's energy that signed up for this series. You may have a, a slightly different experience of what I'm experiencing, but I'm looking at the group as a whole and what the needs are of everyone.
You may notice some physical sensations. You may be noticing something as I'm bringing my awareness into this space. We're, we're literally, what we're doing is shining light. Shining light on the energy centers in the pelvic area. I'm going to ask that anything you need to know be brought to your heart to be understood. So if you need to know anything about what's going to be released in this area or anything that needs to heal, if you need to consciously do something or consciously be aware of it, it will be brought to your heart so it will be understood and then it will be released. Everything else just needs to go. So if there's waves of tears or waves of emotions or shaking in the body or other sensations, don't go looking for an answer. Don't go seeking. I promise it will be clearly brought to your awareness if there's anything that you need to know about this area or about this healing. Okay, so we're just, I'm just starting to stir up the energy in this area. You're going to breathe through it, so a lot of you are holding your breath now from the fear. I'm not seeing anything that you you aren't going to see yourself, so it's, I know a lot of people are always afraid of what I see. A lot of us have this deep fear of if you knew the real me, if you saw really what I was holding deep down inside or hiding, you wouldn't like me or you would think, you know, fill in the blank. But all I see when I look and tune into any of my clients. I see what's blocking them. I have no judgment. And really all I see is their potential. I see the love that exists there. I see that you are already healed. I have a vision. I'm actually given a vision of your true essence. And it's brilliant. It's beautiful. It's vibrant. It's exciting. It's expansive. So what we're calling forth here is everything that's not in alignment with that truth. That's not in alignment with the miracle that you are. All of that can come up for healing. So here we are. It's starting to rise up for some of you. It's already rising up for others. allowing all that's no longer serving you to come up and out. Give it space. Allow the expression. There may be movement at your body that you feel guided to do. Simply allow. Don't resist. Some of the stuff you've been holding for a long time, it's so time to let it go. It's being called forth by the universe right now. And we are consciously calling forth right here, right now, as well. You are making a choice for healing at the deepest possible level. And this is what we're facilitating by joining here. So breathe through resistance. Breathe fear into excitement. Be willing to receive healing at the deepest possible level right here, right now. And I promise that you will only be given what you can handle. Everything that's rising up, you can manage it. I promise. Keep breathing. So some deeper breaths if you need to and exhale through the mouth. And soften the muscles in the body as much as possible. Relaxing as much as you can. Allowing. Receiving. Okay, so we're clearing out most of the closet. It's going to continue to rise up for a lot of you. Just be, can continue to breathe as we move here. Continue to allow. 
And then let's take a look at any roots, any roots that are in the energy body around the first and second chakra. This is an area where we tend to carry a lot of our pain. So be kind to yourself here, really compassionate. Just imagine you can breathe in some love and just send a an energy or an intention of love into the pelvic area. For those of you that are having issues with money or abundance, these are where your blocks are. 99% of the time, it's right in this area. So we're going to take a look for roots. I'm already seeing, I already saw a bunch of them at the beginning. Not a bunch in one person, but a bunch of them in, in the group collectively. I'm, sh- I'm shown all of them. So you're just going to set an intention to release the roots that are no longer serving you. So you just need to say yes. Yes to receiving the healing. Yes to releasing the root. Even if you're afraid. Even if you feel resistance. Just tap into that heart, yes. So being open to any guidance or insight that comes as I ask the following questions. If nothing comes, I'm going to send in a certain color and energy anyways. But if something comes for you, invite that color, invite that energy in. So... As we pull these roots, as I pull the root for you, just ask your heart, is there a color that needs to come in for me? Allow the answer to come from your heart. And then ask, is there um, a word or an image that would help support me? Is there something I can fill that space with once the root is pulled? So you may get a, a name, like a word like peace or love or trust. Just be curious. Keep breathing, keep allowing, keep receiving. Okay, taking a deep breath, let the breath fall out. I'm just going to ask, I need a yes or no, just say yes or no in your heart, or you can say it out loud if it... If it works for you, are you willing to release any and all roots in this area that is no that are no longer serving you? Okay. As I begin to pull the roots, I'll let you know when. As I begin to pull the roots, you're going to bring in that color and that word or image that's going to support you to fill in that space. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know exactly where it's coming from, whether it's the right hip or the sacrum or whatever. You may feel a sensation in one area, and it might shift for you there. But in general, just set set the intention to fill this whole space, the whole pelvic bowl, the bottom of the pelvis, all around the tailbone. Just fill that whole space with the image or color or word that came to you. So the words that came to me is, I'm going to bring in divine love, which is a white, pure white energy. And then then the word forgiveness came in. So there's a a common theme or common thread through a lot of your mm, roots here that, that require forgiveness. So as I say that word, if it resonates for you, that's for you. And if it doesn't, then go with the word you got. If it resonates for you, there may be an image of somebody that comes into your mind that you need to forgive. And for all of us, 
collectively, we're going to set an intention for self-forgiveness. Because we can all use a wave of that. Okay, so here we go. So I'm pulling all the roots now. We're just starting that process. It'll take a little while because there's lots in everybody in the group collectively. Just continue to breathe and receive. Allow whatever expression that needs to occur. There may be tears. There may be movement in the body. Shaking is normal. more roots. In the meantime, those of you that I pulled the root, basically you're holding onto a balloon in your right hand. The string is in your hand. The helium balloon is rising just above your head. And that signifies your root. So your willingness to let it go is your choice, whether you want to do that right now or you want to do it later. But setting an intention to release it purposely, consciously, intentionally. For some of you, your breath is, is easier now. And those of you that, that are feeling a little bit of a restriction in the breath, continue to allow the breath to fall out of the mouth, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. So just know that this process will continue. The cleansing, the washing through of everything that's in this area is going to continue for the rest of the day. So really practice some self-compassion and vibrant self-care. Creating space for the expression. If, if stuff is bubbling up, no judgment. Simply remain neutral. Allow the emotions to come up and out. Allow those emotions to move through you so that they can be released and no longer held, no longer carried. Sometimes the energy moves out of the body. I like to kind of, I feel it sometimes like a little mouse, like kind of going through the body. That's common. You might feel tired, maybe need a bath. Really, really tune in and, and respect the body. Listen to what the body needs. Give yourself permission anytime throughout the day you can to be still or even to lie down and allow the spine some time to integrate the changes and the shifts. And take another deep breath in. Let the breath fall out. And slowly bring your awareness back to your whole body. It's going to feel like you're landing back into your body. And becoming aware of your physical surroundings again. Maybe finding a little bit of movement in your body, whether it's your hands or legs, feet, arms. Great. And open your eyes when you feel ready. You can remain with your eyes closed if you feel inspired to do that. <laughs> 